this is in the same vein with uh, Storm the Armada, environmental thing, but more with a political twist about the choices we make with, uh, with the leaders we choose to run this planet and make the decisions for us. And, uh, and, and at the end, we can only ask, or our children can ask us, like, who failed us the most. This is going to be a single song, and, uh, and a video is going to come out as well, and I'm, I'm very happy about that. It's, it, it's going to be a great video. That song is also one of my favorites. It's powerful and touching. <laughs> Okay, there's a story behind this song. It's an instrumental track to start with and it doesn't have any lyrics, but so maybe I can tell you a little story behind the name. Uh, a friend of mine who has passed since uh, when he was younger, he was studying to be this, uh, what do you call it, a kindergarten teacher kind of thing. And, and uh, one of the parts that he had to study and, and work with was uh, working with uh, challenged people. And uh, one, one day they were um, out on a trip on a lake somewhere and they had this the little boat with outboard engine. And uh, my friend was, was standing there and suddenly he noticed that the outboard engine started to dip in the water. And he managed to grab the engine and pull it back up. And one of the, the younger kids there said that, wow, Ismo's got good reactors. Ismo is a name in Finnish, and his name is Mika. So, <laughs> so that, 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 was, uh, that saying just stayed with me. And every time someone has good reactors, reactions, and, and uh, reflex, uh, uh, I just say, "Wow, Ismo's got good reactors." And uh, when I wrote this song, I, I was, it was pretty obvious that it, it's not going to have any. It's it's going to be an instrumental track, and uh, what should I call it? So I just gave it a weird demo name. Musically, then, well, you. Yeah, share your thoughts. <laughs> Music, musically, it's quite uh, a lot of fun, of course, and the, because of the melody. So mm -hmm. the melody takes you from places <laughs> to other places <laughs> yeah, around from the world, around the world, uh, yeah. from Japan to somewhere else <laughs> and back. And, uh, mm. Yeah, that's also quite um, quite up tempo song. Yeah, but it leaves you confused. Mm. If any of you remember the Ninth Hour album, the previous album, and uh, and the song Fairy Tale, Demon's Cage is sort of thematically continuing that that song or playing with the same idea and thought about the great leaders we may have and, and how they around the world with their own agenda that is not necessarily the one that you would like them to run and do. So for the longest time I was when I was checking the structure of the song, it seemed that when you looked at it how, how it's structured, it seemed that it, this simply cannot work for something. It just looked really it, it was wrong really harshly <laughs> uh, but then, then you started listening to it and yeah different and then it, it just I don't know for some reason it, it worked when you have like three different intros one after another and it just keeps building up and, and it's uh, it's a great song versatile a little bit progressive as well I'd say surprising and I really want to play this one live any thoughts? <laughs> yes, I have thoughts <laughs> in my head. <laughs> the realist understanding continues where uh, I have a right from uh, Stone's Core Her Name album uh, left off, and uh, it's a story about raising your child the right way, not spoiling them, giving them enough freedom but also, also the boundaries and uh, there are so many ways you can go wrong there, you should give them enough so they are happy and they have all the chances and opportunities in life but there's a limit to that as well and you might go really awfully wrong with that, so it's a balancing act and that's only one way of, of, of 
understanding and, and seeing that song. You, you may also see it as a song that lyrically applies to other situations as well, like I've heard already. And that's that's the richness of, of all the lyrics and music in general, because you can always apply your own experiences in it and then see the song in your own way. Little Less Understanding was also the first single we uh, released from this album, and uh, it's sort of an easy ramp towards the album, maybe the most straightforward track we have. It's a really emotional song, lyrically, about losing your child one way or another. In this case, uh, by a kidnapping, in a way. The whole story has been veiled in, in clothes of a wolf. The parent is just worried about the child and then wishes to hear one way or another that the child is okay. No matter if, if, if she or he doesn't never ever gets to see the child again, but he just wants to hear, or she just wants to hear that the child is okay. It's a long song now. It works. <laughs> it works on the album. And it, it, yeah, it's it, one of my favorites. Yeah, same, same. I'm, so, I'm, I'm really happy that everybody seems to like the mm -hmm. song, but I, I was just afraid that it's it's never gonna be, never gonna get a life, a chance this song, but. I think it, it's the great second last song on the track, sort of entwining with the last track nicely towards the end. Now you gave me, you gave me a beautiful child. A thank you song for uh, the people we share our lives with, like family, spouses, and uh, uh, it's a really peaceful, calm, beautiful track with emotional lyrics and some kind of happy, positive vibe to it that a lot of people are gonna call cheesy and they're gonna bleh, but it's, it's too awful, but it just needed to be like that. I think it's perfect as it is. It doesn't have any drums to it. Uh, we were pondering whether or not it should build up towards the end so that it, we would actually have drums and everything and it would be a huge ending for the track, but I'm, I'm very happy that we chose otherwise. I think it leaves you with somehow peaceful mind when it fades out towards the end. The last two songs, they, The Raven Still Flies With You and The Garden, they entwine into one song and, 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 and then just maybe rocks you to sleep or something, I don't know. It's for you, thank you.